The wise woman went to find a place to sleep for that night. Angels appeared to the wise woman as they were sleeping. Remember to never tell the king. King Harold doesn't want to find Jesus to worship him. He wants to kill him because he is jealous that this baby will someday be better than him. Because the wise woman had not returned, King Herod sent him a man to find and kill baby Jesus. Joseph, Joseph, wake up! Yes, yes, what is wrong? Take Jesus and Mary and run away to Egypt. King Herod is searching for Jesus so he could kill him. Finally, they were safe in Egypt, and after King Herod died, and, a, and angels appeared to Joseph and told him to go to a place called Nazareth, and that is where Jesus grew up.
Amelia Eberg and her family on the death of her sister. Let us respond. We hear the message of God. In this moment, O oh God, we give thanks for all the ways we've experienced your presence among us, in the words and actions that bring joy in the midst of fear. Invite us to speak those words and actions that bring joy aloud now. your reign on earth, we join their refrain by saying, do not be afraid. Holy One, we are so grateful that we have come to this place today. We have this time to share with one another in this sacred space our joys, our concerns, those who are in need and those in the ways that we help others. This is a Sunday of joy, O oh God, and yet our world, for so many lacks the joy that we need and that you offer through your son Jesus. Help us be ones to offer more joy in this world, focusing on the ways that we can help others each and every day of our lives. God, we have experienced joy this morning as we've watched the children and youth of our church lead us in the message the greatest gift that you have given this world. We're grateful for the children, for the way that they have expressed themselves this morning, sparking in us memories, sparking in us that little light that can grow deeper and deeper as we are able to live your command that we love our neighbor as ourselves. God, we are grateful for the prayer that your son taught his disciples and taught us that we are able to pray together as one community, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name.
with angels among us today and through our giving of our tithes and our offerings, we are indeed able to spread and be more joy in this world. Let us receive our tithes and offerings. Doxology is found in the bulletin. I invite you to stand. It's to the tune of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. this season for your gift of the Lord Jesus Christ sent to us from on high. We pray that we learn to use Christ's message of love to share and spread his teachings all of our days. Please accept these monetary gifts we bring today to further your will on the earth, in our homes, and in our church. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. 
And I invite our new members to come forth now, Adam Wilson, Janet Fry, and Thomas Webb. And I invite you to turn to the insert that says Sunday, December 17th, reception of new members. Hello. First, I'm going to talk to the three of you. Uh, I'll say a little bit first. Janet, this is Janet. Um, Janet is new among us. She uh, had been away from a church life for a while and sought out a continuing of her own spiritual life and spiritual journey, and she has found us and has come today to say yes to being a member of this church. Adam, I'm not sure how you even found us. Or you just kind of showed up one day. <laughs> and we're grateful that you've been around ever since. But I, and he has just immersed himself in the life of the church, and it's wonderful. Um, Adam, when I asked him if he would, would accept the invitation of joining the church, he said, you know, Reverend Steve, I'm all about it. So this is Adam. And then we have Thomas Webb. Thomas um, has a deep history in Congregational Church. He is a previous member of the Congregational Church of Garden City, or what's the full name of it? Garden City Community Church. Garden City Community Church, which is um, a congregation church, the United Church of Christ. Thomas and his wife live just down the street, and um, Thomas's first visit was kind of a quiet, just checking us out. And he came back, and he's come back. And um, we'll, leave the, we'll leave the chimes ringing, it's beautiful. Um, all three of them have attended our new member class that we held recently, and, we, and have joyously said they want to say yes to this community. So friends, I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. Do you confess your faith in Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior and make him your example and take for your rule of life his words, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself? If so, please respond, I do. The covenant of this congregation states, we covenant and agree with each other to unite as a church of the Lord Jesus Christ for Christian fellowship, for public worship, for the advancement of God's kingdom in the world, we agree to maintain the institutions of the gospel, to promote the peace and prosperity of the church, and to walk together in brotherly love. In the presence of God and these witnesses, you give yourself unreservedly to God's service and take this to be your church. Do you promise to walk with the people of this church in faithfulness and Christian love? And do you promise that so far as able, you will attend the services of, the, of this church, observe its sacraments, share in its works, support and benevolences, and endeavor to make it a fruitful body of Christians? If so, say, I do. I invite you, as members and friends of this congregation, to respond and welcome these new members to our Christian fellowship. Christ Jesus himself 
being the chief cornerstone in whom the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord. So I have for you certificates of membership today. Thomas, Adam, Janet, and let me give you a flower that's back here as well. God in this most important season of Advent, we do stand at a manger and ask, what child is this? And you respond, this is Emmanuel. This is Jesus. But you are with us. We're grateful for these three who've come today to say yes to this church, yes to the mission and ministry, to say yes to the love that you offer through your son, Jesus. Be with us all as we endeavor and seek to live your gospel command. We pray this in the prayer of the child of Bethlehem, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. You will be, I'll get you guys at the end and you can, actually we'll probably come back up here so as people go to the lunch they can greet you and welcome you to the church. So I'll get you at the end. Thank you. Welcome. this week as it most probably will, stop for a moment and remember the reason for the season, because we can know joy right now, even in the midst of fear, for God desires so much to be with and for humanity that God sent Jesus Emmanuel, and the Spirit continues with us, always and forevermore. <laughs> Should you choose to accept it, 
It is a mission with a message. So I'm inviting you to be hashtaggers of joy this week. On Facebook, tweet, Instagram, Snapchat, or quote meme for the week and hashtag more joy. If that doesn't make any sense to you, read this, take this with you, send it to somebody, take a picture and text it to them. Because it says, worry never robs tomorrow of its sorrow. It only saps today of its joy. More joy. So let us turn now. To our candle of joy here in the center. Turn and face the center, I invite you to. And we will be singing, do not be afraid, do not be afraid, do not be afraid, do not be afraid. Thank you. 